All right, uh, let's bring Grumpy in cat. actress and comedian Heather McDonald joins us today from our <laughs> LA bureau. Hey, Heather, good morning to hey, you. Hey, Heather. Good morning. Uh, let's talk a little bit about how, remember in the olden days, I, I don't know if you're old enough, but I remember Johnny Carson when he would go on at 1130 at night. Whoever was the president of the United States, you know, it, there, there was always some good-natured poking at them. But it seems like the late night hosts have taken such a turn against the president. Can you figure it out why? Well, because they don't like him and they didn't vote for him, but they're probably secretly happy that he won because they have material every single <laughs> night. And um, that is every show. And it does get a little tiring. There are people that would love to have a choice of watching something that could take their mind off all the turmoil that's going on in our world. And unfortunately, you can't because every single one has the same point of view. And that's the majority of the comedic material up top. So that is what it is. And it's, you know, it's those the people that they have their show. It's not hard news. So if you don't want to watch it, you know, you don't have to. But that's obviously very evident. Mm -hmm. Heather, we have a montage of what a lot of the late night talk show hosts are saying about this administration. Take a look at this and we'll get your reaction. The White House is scaling back a rule that requires employers to cover birth control. When asked what people should do for birth control now, the White House said, think of Trump. If Trump is upset, Rex Tillerson called him a moron. Wait till he finds out what the rest of the country has been calling him. <laughs> President Trump finally arrived in Puerto Rico this week, and let's just say, problem solved. Nothing says I understand the gravity of the situation like a billionaire tossing six rolls of paper towels to hurricane victims. So, Heather, do you think it's funny? Did they do this to President Obama? That you mean that they didn't do it to Obama? Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm just asking, did they do it? Is it, you know, is it fair? Did they treat oh, no, past I don't, I mean, I don't remember. I, I don't recall them doing it, no. I mean, it is, it's an easier target to do, and now they're on a roll, and that is what is getting them ratings. So they're going to do what they're going to do. I mean, you know, um, I did notice, as you guys did, that there was no mention of Harvey Weinstein. There was not even a, a one, you know, update, Saturday Night Live update joke, which could have been an easy one to st stick in there. I understand maybe the story came out Thursday. Maybe you couldn't write a whole sketch. However, I would have liked to have seen one of their actors in that peninsula white robe hitting on Ashley Judd. I mean, that was a, a pretty juicy, well, amazing story. I mean, Heather, they um, always change up into the morning, up into the actual show. And evidently they had a skit and they deleted it out. And the explanation was, oh, it's did. just okay. so New York. Really? Harvey Weinstein, the most powerful man in Hollywood, is to New York? Are you kidding? Yeah, I mean, what it is, it's sometimes it's not the host or even the writers. They might have wanted to do it. It could have been the network higher-ups that have a personal relationship with the Weinstein company, or maybe they've got a movie there, or maybe they felt, you know, it's not worth it. I mean, look, I, I've never tweeted about the president. I don't know. One day my son might be in a foreign country and I might need him. I don't want to know that there's a record of me that said something nasty about him. It's not worth it. So for them, being in Hollywood, it might just not he be worth it to make fun Heather, of Harvey Weinstein and the Weinstein Company. Uh, unbelievable. But the, the ratings are up slightly, but in overall, where late night used to be, they're down dramatically. And I'll, and I'll say this on top of that. It's good business for them to, okay, hit the president. But if you could somewhat balance it out, you'd have a shot at getting the other 50% of the country that doesn't hate the president. So it doesn't make, it doesn't I, I make financial sense. I agree, and I feel like at one time, like, Fallon was a little bit more down the middle of the road, but, you know, it is what it is. They want to talk about this every night. There's something every night to discuss. I personally, with my comedian and my, my comedy and my stand-up and my podcast, Juicy Scoop with Heather McDonald, I decided about a year ago I was just not going to discuss politics, and this was a place for yeah. escapism. My social media is escapism, mm. and that way people are getting in fights on my Juicy Scoop Obsessed Facebook page. Uh, that's what I like. So there's 20 other shows that you can watch right. if you want to watch Trump bashing shows. Great. I feel it's it's a little much. There, I wish there was something else to watch before you went to bed. Well, you know that what? Could just kind of take your mind off. Things. They can watch your podcast. What what is the website address again? <laughs> well, they can listen to my podcast, Juicy Scoop with Heather McDonald, free everywhere. Right. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, beat that. Heather, you are hilarious. You Thank are so you, talented. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.